Mumia Sugar, as I was mentioning earlier, really coming under pressure, falling back from 13.65 to 12.25, and largely on the back of the fact that uh, you know pretty high expectations were set when it came to their earnings. Let's take a look at this though, because we've been talking uh, to analysts about over exuberance that's in the market at the moment and uh, market players setting great expectations to what extent is this a factor to consider in the kenyan market when it comes to earnings expectations good morning alicia uh, that yeah that came as a surprise to many of us uh, Normally when we have corporate actions, especially such good corporate actions, we had double digit growth from them. Uh, that's Mumias. And uh, we didn't see an, uh, a proportional uh, uh, demand for it in the stock market. And in fact, it went down to 12 shillings. It's a bit of a, a question mark there for most analysts. But uh, also, if you were to look carefully at the report they gave, they highlighted a number of challenges they faced in the in their industry, a number of challenges they faced in production. Some of these uh, are a bit uh, severe. We look at the Comesa issue, we look at the regulatory issues, we look at also the international sugar prices, which have dipped actually about $200 uh, per ton from uh, June to, to this time round, from $700 to about 500 and looking forward we see the company in a in a, a bit of a dicey situation but uh, then again uh, this is a counter which is normally uh, bought by foreigners it's a blue chip by all means it's normally one of the top movers and it could be seen as a, a, a move uh, by some investors to get in for the long term so i guess maybe in the coming week by friday we should see some correction it has happened before in my view i think it should be trading at the 15 shilling mark well, of course, that is a counter that for now is coming under pressure. On the flip side, we're looking at uh, you know companies that are, uh, are paying dividends in the near future. Safaricom, uh, Access Kenya, Barclays Bank and cement maker Bamburi uh, Cement all scheduled to close their books for dividends this week. And with that, a lot of investor interest turning, uh, turning their way. Are you playing within these stocks? Because uh, one would assume that this is a kind of a speculative play that we're seeing coming to the fore. Yes, and uh, I think uh, th this what, what we are seeing here is a uh, is a rush for the for the equities. I think because we we are seeing a, a point of correction come to an end. August has really been wavy in terms of the the market and its turnover. We've had ups and downs each week being a bit d different from the previous, and uh, I think uh, we are yet to see the full effects, uh, and we are actually yet to see a real indicator of where the market is headed. But all said, most analysts feel that. Uh, the, the market is still bullish and we actually expected to see better things. Mm -hmm. Most counters are come dividends. It's no surprise most have also paid their interim dividend. It's also another sign that the market is indeed doing well. Uh, same period last year, most of these companies actually uh, for, did, did not actually pay the interim dividend, uh, indicative of how badly the, the market was doing. But now we see a shift. Companies yeah. previously not known to pay interim dividends like HFCK doing so. So I think pos prospects are still positive. Well, in the meantime, on the earnings front, CFC stand back out with H1 results and up 68%. Uh, your reaction to those numbers and your uh, forecast in terms of how you see that share price move Moving today? Um, as I said before, there's always a kind of relationship between these corporate actions and the and the, the, the stocks of the company in question. Uh, we didn't see much of that relationship on Monday, that is yesterday, with regard to breweries and mumias who had their results out. Albeit good, they did not uh, go up. In fact, they went down. As for CFC Stanbeck, I, I think we may see a mild shift, maybe upwards. Um, looking at the company itself, the, the results are really good. We've had talks in the corridors of a, of a bonus payout uh, at a ratio of one to one. I don't know how authentic that is and, or when that would be approved, but if it's indeed true, we would actually see this price rally over the 90 shilling mark. So I guess uh, it's a good result and uh, I'll be keeping my eye on it.